Hey guys, I've got a problem here. I say you toss a rock directly upward on another planet, let's call it planet Z, and I give you the mass and the radius of that planet, and I say you toss this rock up at 11 meters per second. And then I wanna know what is the maximum height that that rock reaches before it falls back down. So the principle that you have to use here, or that I think it makes this problem the easiest, is the conservation of energy. And what this says is that energy cannot be created or destroyed, it's just converted into different forms. So think about the rock when it was originally thrown up, it was initially going 11 meters per second, right? And it had all motion energy, all of its energy was motion energy, it was just moving at 11 meters per second. But then once it gets to the top here, it's gonna be going zero meters per second, right? And then it's gonna have some height above the ground that it can fall back down. So up here, it actually has all potential energy. Potential energy is where something has the potential to fall down. So you have to understand that we start off with all kinetic energy and then all of that kinetic energy is converted into potential energy. And this allows us to set up this equation here where we can solve for this height. So we have pretty much everything we need here. We know that the mass of the rock is actually going to cancel out when we set these equal to each other, so we don't even need the mass of the rock. We have the velocity, that was 11 meters per second. The only problem is this g here. So we're not on Earth, right? So we can't use 9.8 meters per second squared for g. We actually have to solve for g because we're on a different planet. So the equation to solve for g on another planet is gravitational acceleration, or A sub G, is equal to this big G, which is just a constant, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11, times the mass of that planet over the radius of that planet squared. So I went ahead and solved for that for planet Z. I did my big G times mass of the planet, which was six times 10 to the 24, over the radius of that planet, which was five times 10 to the six squared. And I got that the G on this planet is 16.01 meters per second squared. So that's bigger than Earth's gravitational acceleration, right? So you would probably feel pretty heavy on this planet. But now we have something to plug in for our G here. So back to this equation, remember we were able to cancel mass out on both sides because whenever something appears on both sides of an equal sign, you can just cancel it out, you don't have to worry about it. So now we're left with one half velocity squared equals GH, or the gravitational acceleration times the height that this rock is gonna go. So 11 was our velocity, so I plugged that in. We have our G now at 16.01, and now all we have to do is solve for H. So it's just really algebra from here. I just divided both sides by 16.01 at this point, and I was left with h equals 1 half 11 squared over 16.01, and when you type that into your calculator, you get that this rock must have gone 3.78 meters up before it stopped in midair and then fell back down. So I hope that made sense. If you guys have any questions or you're interested in tutoring, please contact me at facebook.com slash tutoring, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.